She was feeding the pigeons. I noticed something very neurotic about her. She was feeding them to the lions. You want to hear my luck? I got her a nose job and it grew back. I asked if she'd like to go out. She said, certainly. I said, uh, where can I take you? She said, someplace dark and intimate and real cool. I said, like where? She said, like your father's vault. <laughs> That night she took me home for dinner. She lived in a one-room apartment. In the middle of the one room was this big lazy Susan, her mother. <laughs> my mother was a good cook, but very lazy. She used to put popcorn on the pancakes so they could turn over by themselves. <laughs> and how do you think you get these dates? Every mother runs around, picks you up with blind dates. Every mother says the same thing. Have I got a girl for you? Then when I get you to blind date, you always ask the same question. Is she pretty? And they always give you the same answer. She's got a wonderful personality. <laughs> Forget it, it's a barracuda. <laughs> but I finally met a girl who liked me for me. She was poor, but she was beautiful. Oh, she was beautiful. She looked like Senor Wentz's fist. <laughs> I want to describe her to you. She was Sophia Lauren, Jane Mansfield, and Elizabeth Taylor all, all rolled into one. She was that fat. <laughs> and when you walked down the street, you didn't walk with her. You walked among her. <laughs> the minute I saw her, I liked her. I had to be with her. So I beckoned her forth. I said, pick and forth, pick and forth. <laughs> no, not too well, I'll tell you. <laughs> she started to cross the street, not at the green, but in between. <laughs> All of a sudden, a garbage truck came toward her. It was too late to warn her. The garbage truck hit her and knocked her down. I said to the truck driver, what, are you blind? And he said, I hit her, didn't I? <laughs>
kid, get out of here. Go back to your side of the tracks. And I was confused. I didn't know which side I came from. You see, my father owned the railroad. <laughs> I want to study. Daddy, please buy me what the poor kid's got. He's what do you want now? I says, Daddy, Daddy, buy me a slum. <laughs> he said, never, never. My mother, bless her, has got a good heart. She called her from the hairdresser. She said, get him a slum. Get him a slum, <laughs> but in a nice neighborhood. <laughs> I went to my father, says, Dad, I don't need a slum, I need a friend. He says, look, son, I come up the hard way. All the fathers tell you that. And I'm telling you right in front, money cannot buy friends. My mother said, so we'll rent them. 